You both look very smart and grown up in your new school shoes, <laughs> even in your pyjamas! <laughs> <laughs> now, can you two please stomp, 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 stomp those shoes back upstairs to your bedrooms, please? <laughs> shoes off and into bed! Oh, we want to wear our shoes on bed, Mummy! Please come away, please don't, please! <laughs> oh, of course you can't wear your shoes in bed! <laughs> it's not fair! <laughs> Up to bed, please! Stomp, stomp! <laughs> Mummy reads us our stories and tucks us in. Then it's lights out and time to go to sleep, as usual. Night-night, Mummy. Night-night, darling. Snuggle down for me. Yeah. Night-night, Twintastic Topsy. Night-night, Twintabulous Tim. Sleep well. But I can't get to sleep. Tim? shoes on. Sorry, Mummy. I don't want to wear these school shoes too. Snap! Snap! Snap, 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 snap,
we're being very grown up about having a sleepover in our house. <laughs> in fact, you're all having a very grown up sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggle down. Night, night, children. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. Night, mummy. Guys, I feel like I want to put my shoes on. Me too. Me three. <laughs> Settle down, please. No more talking. It's time to go to sleep, all right? No, no, no. no. Topsy? Yes. Yeah. I was scared about coming to your house to sleep, but now I'm really, really happy I'm here. Oh, good. <laughs> we love you being here. <laughs> good. <laughs> Guys. Can I tell you something? Well, I'm scared of how going to big school. Why? Why? Well, you two will have each other to play with, and Tony isn't coming to our big school, so I won't have Tony to come and play with us. Oh, I know. You'll always have us. That's not the same. I'm scared too about going to big school, but me as well. But we're all grown up now, so we can go to big school. And, and we'll be fine when we're there. And we will be able to wear our school shoes every single day. Yay! <laughs> in the end, we finally got to sleep. Mummy has to wake us up in the morning. Good morning, sleepyheads. Mummy. Morning, Mummy. Hello. Were you okay in the night, Kerry? Yes. Thank you, Joy. I loved my first sleepover. <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. You, you are, are very, very grown, grown up, up now. now. Oh, you are very grown up now, Topsy and Kim. And you too, Kerry. <laughs> Having a sleepover, starting school. And look, Mummy, we wore our shoes in bed. <laughs> 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 you wore your shoes in bed, you silly sausages. <laughs> Come on, it's time for breakfast. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we had our first ever sleepover. Can you remember who came round to stay with us? Was it Josie? Or was it Carrie? The answer is fine, Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is Carrie. Watch this. Hi, Topsy. Topsy, what are you doing out of bed? Oh, I couldn't sleep. Why is Carrie here? Hi, Topsy. <laughs> Don't worry about that now. And why have you got your school shoes on? Sorry, Mummy. I'm wearing my new school shoes too. Snap! 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 Snap!
comes in, Tim. You can open your eyes now. Oh, Happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> house! A playhouse! <laughs> Thank, Thank you! you. Whoa! Do you like your playhouse, twins? Yes! And look at the front door. This house belongs to... Ta and Ta. Topsy and Tim! This is the best birthday present ever! <laughs> Thank you! Hello! Hi. <laughs> I can't wait to show Tony Welch our new playhouse. Well, you'll be able to at your party later! Yay! <laughs> it's a birthday! We're going to play musical chairs at our party and it's our job to find enough chairs. I find the chair in the porch that we sit on to take off our muddy shoes. Topsy! I find Mummy's spinning office chair. <laughs> Everyone's going to want the spinning chair. after the party, remember? <laughs> Thank you so much for the extra chairs, oh Dominique. But we still need more chairs for the party. Yeah! Yeah, we're playing musical chairs! <laughs> yes, we are! Let's put them down. Thank you. We play musical spinning chair while we wait for our party to begin. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's the mummy? Is it Tony? No, it's Mr. Fen from next door. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fen. Hello, Joy. Hi. Hello, Mr. Fen. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Topsy. <laughs> is this a spinning chair, Mr. Fen? Yes, I got an urgent message. You needed more chairs for your party. Huh? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, is this going to be your chair for the party table? No. I think my friend Tony Welch would like this spinning chair best. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. You take it in there, Tim. Good boy. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Fen. Right. See you later. Bye. Soon, we have enough chairs for all our friends. But we need two more for us. Someone give me a hand, please. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> two more chairs for the birthday girl and boy. Can you give me a hand, please? Now, we are ready for the party. And just in time. Happy birthday, twins. Oh, Tony, I'll take those. Thank you. In you go. Happy birthday, Tony. Once everyone's arrived, we play our musical chairs game. Who's ready to play musical chairs? Me! <laughs> wins the musical chairs prize and you get your special <laughs> prize everybody the winner everybody smile again or say cheers there's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table and lots of food Ready for a big surprise. Yes. Yes. 
and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. <laughs> then we played more games and it was time for our friends to go home. There you go. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Okay, I'll see you Bye, Linda. Thanks for coming. Before Tony Welch goes home, I take him out to the garden to show him our new birthday presents. I can see my dad! Hi, Dad! Happy birthday, Tim. Nice house. Thanks. Tony can come and play in it all the time. Please, Dad. Please, Mr Welch. We won't be at the same school, but we will still be best friends. And that's when Mr Welch said, Tony can come and play as often as he likes. Tony can come and play as often as he likes, Topsy and Tim, as long as your mummy and dad say it's OK. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> In fact, why don't I put another T just here? And tough for Tim and tough for Tony, yes! Yay. Yes! The house can belong to all three of us, Tony! Yes, yes, I know! I know! In here! In here, guys! <laughs> Come on, Tony. It's time to go. Come on. Oh, thanks for inviting me to the party. Happy birthday, Topsy. Happy birthday, Tim. Don't forget your party bag, Tony. Good luck at your new school! Tony will be back to play before you know it. <laughs> Come up here, Mummy! Right, yeah. And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. Us today. This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today was our birthday party. Can you remember who won the game of musical chairs? Was it Tony Welch? Or was it Andy Anderson? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look! The answer is Tony Welch. Watch this. Only three chairs left. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a squash. Oh. <laughs> Tony Welch wins the musical chairs prize. And you get your special <laughs> prize. Everybody, the winner! Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Hi, Mossy. Hi, Mossy. Hi, Mossy. Come in, Mossy. Oh, I love you. Here. Oh, here. where's Mossy's <laughs> Mummy's away this week. And Dad's going to play football. So Grandma's doing our bedtime. Now, where's my hello, Grandma Huggle Twins? <laughs> Wee! <Whee! laughs> I'm off now, you two. Bye, bye Dad! Oh, bye. Have lots, Yay! Have lots <laughs> of fun with Grandma. Yay! <laughs> Mossy! Come. And I'll get them ready for bed. Thanks, Mossy. Bye, Dad! Bye, bye. Dad! <laughs> right, you two. Bath time. But it's huh? not bath time yet, Grandma. No. I know. 
but I'd like you to help me wash Mossy the dog. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Would you like to do that sort of bath time? Yes, please! I can't wait to get things ready for Mossy's bath. Here's our bubble bath for Mossy's bath. Oh, that's a nice idea, Tim. But Mossy has a shower, not a bath. And she has her own special doggy shampoo look. Oh, yes. And she has her own doggy towel. <laughs> it's got a dog in it. <laughs> now, I need to test the water, Mossy. She likes it not too hot and not too cold. I think this is a good temperature. Try yeah, it. Yeah, it's not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's just tickles. right, isn't it? It's just right. It tickles. That's good. Well, I think we need to get Mossy into the bath. Mossy, come on. She can... Mossy can use our bath step. Like this. Then Mossy climbs into the bath. That is a great idea, Tim. But I need to lift Mossy into the bath myself so she doesn't hurt herself. So can you just put the step back? OK. Thank <laughs> you. Topsy, you can bring Mossy up for her wash now. Topsy! Coming! Ooh. Oh! Well done, Twin. She's in. <laughs> now it's time for her doggy wash. Here we go. gets Mossy's fur wet and we get ready to clean her. Yes, that's uh, it's like right. jelly. Can we start? You can. Yep, start. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. That's it on her body. Bubbly, bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly. Bubble, bubble. 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 Look at this! Bubbly, 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 bubble, bubble, that's it. Oh, bubble, That's right, on her body and then down to her legs. Mossy's enjoying her one. Mm -hmm. So I know it will make it even better. Bath toys! Oh, ah, uh, now, wait a minute, Tim, actually. That is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. Got your ball, Mossy! You can do that if you want. Just wet her neck for her. Just her neck. Oh, great. There we go. In it goes. Oh, oh, oh I'm all wet. Oh, you are. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Now, I tell you what I think we should do. I think the time has come, OK? I'm going to wash Mossy's head and then we can rinse her off. OK. OK. Once Mossy is soapy all over, Topsy rinses her with the shower water. Mossy isn't used to showers like we are. You need to be gentle. Mossy's bath time isn't the same as our bath time, is it, Grandma? <laughs> no. Well done, ah. Topsy and Tim. She'll soon be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. That's probably enough now. Ooh. to get Mossy out now, don't you? Yes. Right. Come on, stand in the head, Tim. There we go. I'm yes. soaked. When Mossy gets out, it's time to dry her off with her special towel. There we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You've got us all wet, Mossy. Oh. We did, didn't we? She's a good girl, though. Oh, yeah. Well done, Mossy. Mm. No, I'm done. Well done. Very well, didn't you? Look at Mossy's hair! <laughs> Look at your hair! Look at yours! Before we go up to bed, 
It's time for one last cuddle with Mossy. Oh, you smell nice and clean, Mossy. Oh, lovely Mossy. <gasps> Dad! Daddy's home! Hello, Dad. Topsy and Tim. Yay. Did you have fun? Yes. yes! We had the best bar time ever, Dad. I didn't think it was bath night. No, we didn't have the bath, Dad. Mossy did. Ah. You need a bath, Dad. Yeah. Football <laughs> mud. <laughs> You're going to run yourself a bath, Brian, before you read the twins their bedtime stories. OK. Tell you what, Topsy, you can both pick a story tonight. What story do you want? Um... Uh... Um... Um... Uh... <laughs> and that's when Dad says... I miss Mummy's bedtime stories. I expect you do too. Yes, I do. I miss Mummy most of all at bedtime. Yeah, we all miss her. But there are only two more bedtimes until she comes home. Yay! Yay! I love Mummy and I love you, Dad. Oh, thank you. A hug always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. And a hug <laughs> Oh, <God. laughs> Do you know, I think Mossy wants a squeezy hug too. Yes! <laughs> Mossy! Squeeze! <laughs> well done, Mossy. You know, thanks to you two, Mossy's had the best day ever. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. <laughs> and, and that said, Grandma, was that? <laughs> Couldn't remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we helped Grandma wash Mossy. Can you remember which toy Tim brought upstairs for Mossy's bath time? Was it a ball? Or was it a squeaky bone? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is a ball. Watch this. Mossy's enjoying her one. <laughs> so I know what will make it even better. Oh, bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim, actually. That is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys cos she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. Got your ball, Mossy! You can do that if you want. Just wet the neck more. Just the neck. I've got it! I've got it! Oh, great. There we go. In it goes. Uh, oh, oh, I'm all wet! Oh, you are! Oops! <laughs> 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 Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Ooh. Hi, Hi Grandma! Hello! Is that a real tree? Yes, a little apple tree. It's a present for you all for your garden. Oh, it's perfect. In fact, <laughs> thank you, Jean. I'll take it through. Small for a tree, Grandma. That's because it's a sapling. It's a baby tree, Topsy. Tim, Tim, come and see. Grandma's brought us a baby tree. Where is Tim? He's upstairs in his bedroom. Yeah, Tim's cross because he wanted to play with Tony Welch today. But then I told him that he couldn't because you were coming round with the tree. Ah, uh, I'll go and see him. Okay. Mummy, will that little tree grow apples? Yes, it will. Wait for just one minute, Topsy. And I will show you. Come and have a look on the computer with me. Good girl. Spinny chair. Spinny chair. Right. You're going to sit on my lap? Yeah. OK. There. Our little tree will grow apples like this. And when it's fully grown, it might even get as big as this. 
Whoa, that yeah. tree has got lots of apples. <laughs> it really does. And if we want our little apple tree to get apples like that, we need to dig a big hole in the garden and plant it. Please, can we do that now, Mummy? Yes, of course we can. And maybe Grandma and Tim will help us as well. Yes! You get your apron on, cos we'll get mucky, and I will get the boots and the gardening gloves. Why are you upset, Tim? Come on, you can tell Grandma. to go and see my friend Tony today. Mm. He's moving away and I might not see him again. Oh, of course you'll still see him, Tim. He's not moving far away and you're such good friends. Come on. I know something that will cheer you up. What? I'll show you. Just trust Grandma, OK? I trust your Grandma. <laughs> Grandma tells me to find Mossy's plastic tub of treats. Here it is. Perfect. I'll have to find another tub for Mossy's biscuits. We need this one today. Why? Because this tub has now become our memory box. A memory box? Yes. A box where we put memories we want to keep forever. Why? Because it's nice to look back and remember happy times. What happy times can you remember sharing with Tony? Lots. I'm going to find great things to put in the memory box. I'll show you. I'll find things upstairs. I've kept two funny things that I did with Tony under my bed. Our cardboard twin Tim. Tony and I danced with it. And our horse's head, made from a welly boot. These are for the memory box, Grandma. Oh, good, but... Oh, dear, look, they're too big. They have to fit inside Mossy's treat tub, remember? Well, they won't fit in. Oh, you just have to find smaller things. Can you just help me clear away the table, Okay, please? we've been digging in the garden. Take your boots off, Topsy. Good girl, and super wash your hands, please. Uh, Let me take your gloves. Good girl. Uh, uh, Tim, you should come see our baby apple tree in the hole we've dug for her. <laughs> oh, not just yet, Topsy. Tim's busy. He's helping me make a memory box with this. But that's Mossy's tree tub. <laughs> not anymore. I'll buy Mossy a new tree tub. Tim is putting things in this that remind him of happy times. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Oh, I want to help with the memory box. I know what can go in. Oh, your nursery school photo. Oh. Look. Everyone came to our house that day. Mm. Oh, yes, Tony's dad took the photo. And look at the funny face Tony's making. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this in. Tim, are you wearing odd socks? Oh, yes, look. I saw one of mine with Tony. <laughs> it's got a hole in it, look. <laughs> <laughs> Tony with toe. I know, Tim. Why don't you put your Tony sock in the memory box? Oh, yeah. And I know what else can go in. Oh. We've put lots of fun things in the memory box. I find a piece of the marble run that we made with Tony and Renda, and I put it in the box. Our memory box is full of happy memories. Done! Done. Oh, really? Oh, right. Well, this memory box is now ready to be hidden. <laughs> Why? Well, that's the point of a memory box. You put it somewhere to keep your memories safe. And they stay there till you grow up. Thank you, Jane. Oh, thank you. And I have a very good idea of the perfect hiding place. Oh, where, Grandma? Where? <laughs> Follow me. Well, he's on first. <laughs> oh, right. Oh. oh, brilliant. Come on. OK. First, we put the baby apple tree in the big hole that top says, Doug. Down. Ooh. It in. Oh, that's good. That's good. There we go. Oh, that's it. Now, I tell you what you need to do. Now. <laughs> Mummy! It's over there, Tim. That's it. Sit down. Ooh. Top of the tree. Right. Now, where are you? We plant our memory box under the t
our memory box. <laughs> and I love our new apple tree, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's right. Making a memory box of our Tony was just as good as playing at Tony's house. Oh, good. Thank you, Jean, for such a lovely, good, fun day. <laughs> When we look out to the window, our baby apple tree looks really happy. One day, we might dig up our memory box that's underneath it. But only when we're older and our apple tree has grown. You know, trees take a long time to grow and there won't be apples on there for a few years yet. We've got to wait until the tree gets much bigger. Mm. Like you, Mummy. <laughs> bigger than me. <laughs> this big! And that's when Grandma said... You, you should, should measure, measure yourselves right now. You should measure yourselves right now, Topsy and Tim, and then you'll always know how tall you were on the day you planted your tree in your memory box. Yeah, me, yeah. And then me, then. Well, um, guess who I am going to measure first? Uh, me? Me? Not Topsy, and not Tim. You. Grandma. Me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandma. And that, said Mummy, was that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we planted a tree in our garden. Can you remember what else we planted in the garden? Was it a memory box? Or was it Mossy's ball? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. The answer is a memory box. Watch this. All right. Oh, brilliant. Come on. OK. First, we put the baby apple tree in the big hole that top says dog. Plant our memory box right under the tree. Oh, there we are. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grandma. I love our new bike. Oh, good. Now, how about a Grandma Huggle? Sweet. Grandma has given us our first bikes ever. Our new bikes have got stabilisers to help us to learn to ride them. <laughs> you can practice riding your bikes all afternoon long whilst I pop off to my meeting. And I can help you. I don't need any help, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Running a new bike is easy. Well, <laughs> learning to ride a new bike isn't always easy. Now, off them until you go outside. Let's yes, push them out into the garden. Is it? it? Is. Well, we need to pop your helmets on then, don't we? So we take our bikes out of the garden. And Mummy gives us our helmets. Enjoy yourselves, Topsy and Tim. Good girl, let me just check your helmet. Lovely, OK. Right, how are you doing, Tim? Oh, you done that up? Yes. All right, let's move yours forward a little bit as well. OK, everybody get set. Right. OK, twins, off you go. Oh, look, Grandma, look, Tim, I can do it. <laughs> Riding my new yellow bike isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Grandma, can I have some help? Oh. Ah. Okay. Here we go. 
Mossy! Mossy, come on. Come on, Mossy, inside. Inside. Mossy, Mossy, come on. Come on, Moss, good girl. Come here, come here, come on. I think we should go inside because Tim's learning to ride his bike and you're getting in the way. Topsy stays on her red bike all afternoon. <laughs> Topsy's still going. Now, where do you want to sit? I'll stand, Grandma. You're going to stand? OK, well, I'll sit down then for a minute. Ah. Whew. I don't want to ride my bike anymore. Come on. I'll help you. OK. <laughs> right, let's go and get on it. Well done, you're on it. OK, now, you don't have to worry about wobbling over because you've got stabilisers, OK? OK. Just push down on the pedals with your feet. If you wobble, I'll catch you, right? OK. OK. Let's see, off we go. That's it, Tim. That's it, you're doing it. Uh, That's Grandma, it. Ow! Well done, Tim. Ow. That's ow. it. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ow. What have you done? Let's have a look. Are you all right? No. Oh. I show Grandma my hand and there's a thorn in it. Right, come on. Let's go inside. We'll soon get that out. Thanks, oh. Grandma. Dear. You were doing so well too, Tim. Grandma pulls the thorn out of my hand and makes it better. And a kiss. Now your hand is well again, Tim. <laughs> Oh, I think this is Mummy back from her meeting. Hi. Hi. Oh dear. What's happened? I fell off my bike into a bush. Oh. Tim was trying so hard on his bike and he was just getting the hang of it when he fell. Mummy, Mummy, come and see me ride my bike. Oh, wow, Topsy, looking good. <laughs> come on, Timmy, you're not coming back out on your bike again? No, my hand still hurts. I don't want to ride my new bike anymore. I know what you need, Tim. A bicycle lesson from your mummy. Come on, Mossy Doggy. Come on. Out in the garden. Come on. Here. I think Grandma's right. Why don't I go and get my old bike and then we can practice together in the garden? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Mummy's old bike is dirty and dusty. It has a baby seat on the back. Did I used to sit on this tiny seat when I was a baby? <laughs> yes, you did. You'd sit on the back of my bike and Topsy would sit on the back of Daddy's bike. Oh, there we go. Now, why don't you go and grab your helmet and then we can go out into the garden? Yeah, OK. Mummy! Coming! Mummy! <laughs> right. Do you want to watch me ride my bike? Yes! yes. OK. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Mummy rides her bike in circles. She's really good at it. And her bike doesn't have stabilisers. OK, you lot, it's your turn now. Topsy, Tim. Oh, well, Grandma. Yes, yes, Grandma! <laughs> no, not me. Now, I think, I think you two should show Mummy what you can do. Yes! Let Mummy watch me! Oh, that's brilliant, oh, Topsy. Very good. Good girl. Come on, Tim. Why don't you show Mummy how you can ride your bike? I decide to have another go at riding my bike. Yes, you can do it, Tim.
seeing Grandma to go home, we gave Grandma some flowers, which Mummy let us pick from the garden, to say thank you for our new bikes. Aren't they lovely? Thank you for our new bikes, Grandma. Oh, oh. We absolutely love them. Those are lovely. You know what this demands, don't you? Squeeze! Squeeze. Who wants to ride their bikes to the park? Me! Mossy would like that too. <laughs> So we can all go together and we can call in on Josie Miller and she can ride her bike there too. Yay! <laughs> Josie will love my new red bike. <laughs> and I hope she'll like my bike. Yeah! Yeah! And that's when Mummy said, When you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie. <laughs> when you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie, Topsy and Tim. Yeah! Come on, let's cycle to the park. Oh. <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Come on, come on. Come on. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Grandma gave us new bikes. Can you remember the colour of Tim's bike? Was it red? Or was it yellow? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. I decide to have another go at riding my bike. Cardigan. on back to front. Should we turn oh, it around? Yes. OK, let's get your arms out. And twist round. Perfect. And then pop them back in the sleeves again. Perfect. Yay. Let's get your collar out. Okay, let me have it. Oh, you look the perfect schoolboy. OK, breakfast time, twins. Sit down at the table for me. I'm hungry. So am I. Right. Here we go. Oh, actually, maybe I should do the milk today so that you don't spill any milk on your new school uniforms. Thank you, Mummy. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Have you got a message, Mummy? Yes, it's from Grandma. What does it say? It says, hello Topsy and Tim, have a lovely day at your big school. Love you lots, both of you, and sending you a big hug or grandma, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, please can we take a picture of us in our school uniforms and then we send it to grandma? That is a great idea, Topsy, especially as you've been so careful at keeping your uniforms clean. Okay, so ready? 
One, two, three, say big school! Big school! <laughs> oh, lovely, thank you. I think they'll send that to Dad, too. Yeah, send it to Dad. We like it. You know, Topsy and Tim, Dad's really sorry that he's had to go to work earlier and that he'll be missing walking you to school on your first day. You carry on eating up, though. After breakfast, we go up to the bathroom to brush our teeth. Oops, Mummy! Yes? Oh, no, Topsy, not on your new uniform. Oh, dear. At least it's only a little bit of toothpaste. Oh, yeah, you're right. It could have been much worse. <laughs> Let's get that off. It's coming off fine. Here we go. Oh, Mummy, look! Oh, Tim. <laughs> That's really big bit. <laughs> That's much worse. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. Thanks, Mummy. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, OK. I win. <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, perfect. I'm ready for school. Oh. Who's that? What's that? <gasps> Dad! Dad! <laughs> oh. I made it in time. It's your first day at school, could I, Tom, see and Tim? <laughs> oh. Thank you, Dad. Oh, and when Mummy sent me your photo, you look so smart in your school uniforms, I dash back home from work. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Let's all go to school together. Are you ready, Tom, see and Tim? Yes! Yeah. Topsy, I feel a little bit funny in my tummy. But, Tim... We've got that promise to keep, remember? Oh, yes, I'm excited about our promise. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, then, off we go. We promised our friend Mr Rosen that we'll wave to him every day on our walk to school. Now we're off to keep our promise. Hello. <laughs> Bye, Topsy and Tim. Enjoy your first day at school. Thank you. Thank you, we will. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Topsy and Tim. Are you riding your bikes to school? No, we're walking. So we can wave to our friend Mr. Rosen on the footbridge. We promised. Okay. Yeah, See you at school, Josie. This is it. We're on our way to big school. <laughs> we count the steps up to the top of the footbridge. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And we want a train going underneath. Look! Look at that one! Whoa! Whoa! So many carriages! Whoa! Then we point out Mr Rosen's window to Dad. That's his window! Look! There, Dad! He's not there. Do you think he's forgotten about our promise? Well, maybe Mr Rosen just hasn't got out of bed yet. But he promised. Mr. Rosen did promise. He is there! Look! Look, he's there! Hello, Mr. Rosen! Hello, Mr. Rosen! Mr. Rosen's not in his wheelchair anymore. Look, he's doing a dance around! <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go to school now. Mm. So am I. When we get to the school gate, we see lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery are there. And Hi, Anderson. Anderson. Oh, and Steve Dunton. Hey. Hello, Andy Anderson. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Topsy. Oh, I love your school uniform. We already have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Gary! Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. 
It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! 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 <laughs> Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. And we want to hear all about it. Now, go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will. I love you, Mummy. I love you, Mummy. I love you, Dad. I love you both, too. Off you go, Topsy. This is our street. It's where we live. So let's all play together. Be best friends forever. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today was our first day at big school. Can you remember the colour of our new school book bags? Were they blue? Or were they red? The answer is behind the jigsaw pieces. The answer is blue. Watch this. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. Thanks. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, OK. I win. <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, perfect. I'm ready to school. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! We've been to the shops to buy everything we need for our birthday party tomorrow. We're going to be... Five! I love my shiny number five balloon. And me. Well, hold on tight to your balloons, please, Topsy and Tim. Let's get them safely in the car. Stick with me, please. When we get home, we're going to tie our balloons to the front door. Oh, so people know it's our birthday. Tim, over this side, please. Careful of the cars. Right. I love my balloon. So do I. So excited. Tim, would you hold these fairy cakes for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Mmm, they look yummy. <laughs> yes, they do. Hold them really carefully, please, once I put everything in the car. Yes, because we don't want the cupcakes to get squashed. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. They smell nice as well. Are we going to have a real birthday cake with candles on, Mummy? As well as these cakes? Yes, of course you can. Please, can we have a butterfly cake with blue candles on, Mummy? Oh, no. I would like a dinosaur cake with red candles, please, Mummy. No, please, can we have a butterfly cake, please, Tim? No. We're going to have a dinosaur cake, aren't we, Mummy? <laughs> you will just have to wait and see. Oh. <laughs> now hold those for me, Topsy. Can you climb in for me, please? Uh-huh. Good girl. Oops. You get into your seat for me. Thank OK, you. I'm going to put my balloon in first. Just a minute, Topsy. Tim, can you carefully put the cakes between the two seats, please? Thank you. Move your balloon, please. Topsy. I can't, Tim. It's too big. Oh, oh Mummy! I can't fit my balloon in now. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hi, Joy. Oh, oh hello, Grandma. Topsy. Oh, the balloons won't fit in the car. Oh, please don't let Mossy bust my balloon, please, Grandma. I won't. Oh, I see. You've got a car full for the party. <laughs> I know. What a surprise to meet you here. I have been birthday present shopping, but, you know, I can't remember who 
for? We know! We know! <laughs> oh, look at your car. It is so full. How are your lovely big balloons going to fit in? Oh, I have no oh. idea. I know, I know. We could hold them like this out of the window. Oh, oh no, Tim. That's a bit dangerous if I'm driving. And they might burst. Yeah. Then how are we going to get them home? Oh, oh. I know. Well, Grandma, you could take them in your car. Do you mind, Jean? Would that be all right? Oh, yes, I've got lots of room. I'm parked oh, just over there. I will. I've got it. There we go. If you could just give them... There you go. That's it. Oh, I can bring them round to your house later. It's not fair. <laughs> now, listen. Take a deep breath, OK? Grandma will take extra special care of your very special balloons. Cheer up, Topsy and Tim. You can help me carry the shopping inside. I'll take the cakes. Aww. I'm going to take the cakes. Oh, I wanted to carry the fairy cakes. There you go, Tim. Right, you come. OK, there you go. Oh, no. oh be careful with the cakes, please, you two. Oh, I Topsy, can you help me carry your bag, please? There you go. Straight up to the house, please, Tim. Oh, OK. Oh, Tim! <laughs> Thank you, Topsy and Tim. But I did ask you both to be careful. It's not fair. It's all your fault. No, it's all Tim's fault. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath and have some quiet time. So please go upstairs. Topsy, can you bring your coat to me, please? Careful of the cakes and go upstairs to your room, please. Oh. We don't like being sent up to our bedrooms. I feel really sad. Topsy? Tim? Hello? Hi, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm very really sorry, Mummy. Oh. Try and be good all the time when we are five. Oh, thank you. Now, listen. We all get a bit cross from time to time. We just need to take a breath and calm down, OK? But look, I brought you some squash fairy cakes and they still taste really yummy. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, yum, yum. Mmm, thank you. Tim, I don't mind if we have a dinosaur cake on your birthday, Tim. And on my birthday. <laughs> no, it's OK. We can have a butterfly cake. I really don't mind. <gasps> How about... A butter saw cake or a dino butterfly cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of those, please. Yes, Mummy. A dino butterfly cake, please, <laughs> Mummy. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, Grandma's here. <laughs> Grandma's here with our balloons. It's Grandma and Mussy. With our balloons. <laughs> Don't forget to hold on tight to the street, Tim. Okay. Oh, my balloon! It got oh. hit! Oh, no! It's gone! My balloon! Oh, it's not fair! Sorry, Tim. And that's when Mummy said, 
When something like this happens, you just, just need to take a deep breath. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. Okay. Don't worry, Tim. We can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Good girl. We only need one five balloon to tie in our front door. Don't worry. Well, let's tie yeah. it on tightly to the door now so this one doesn't float away. Yeah. And, and that's, that's it, Grandma. Was that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were bought balloons for our birthday party. Can you remember whose balloon blew away in the wind? Was it Tim's balloon or Topsy's? The answer is Tim's balloon. Watch this. Now, don't forget to hold on tight to the string tin. Okay. Oh, my balloon! Oh. 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 It's gone, my balloon! Oh, it's not fair. Sorry, Tim. Now, listen. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. OK. Don't worry, Tim. We can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Good girl. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. On the day we started big school, I woke up very early. I was too excited to sleep. anymore. Tim, wake up. We're starting big school today. <sighs> shh, shh. You'll wake up, Mummy and Dad. It's still really dark outside. Look. Yeah, I can only just see our twin swings from in the bathroom window. I love our twin swings. Me too. Do you remember when Dad built the twin swings and he lost all the bolts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and do you remember we found the bolts and you and Kitty found the frog? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> Oh, no. There's a hole in my pocket. The bolts must have fallen through. Oh, don't worry, Dad. That's a job for us. We'll find them. Good. Yay. Go, 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 go. Come on, Terry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, Mummy. Oh, excuse me. Tony and I searched the living room. Come on, Tony. If we don't find all the bolts, then this wind's wings won't get built. Here's one. I found a bolt. I found one, too. There's a bolt! Where? Down there! Oh, great! Got it! And look, there are two more bolts here in the, the hallway. I've got two and you've got three. That means one, two, three, three four, five, five bolts! Carrie and I found two bolts by the back door and now we're searching in the grass. <gasps> Another bolt! Where? Terry, <laughs> 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 watch out. 
Wash your hands if you've touched a frog, please. Okay. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No. I think we're the only people awake in our food. <laughs> so quiet, listen. I can hear a cat meowing. Do you think it's Tiger Fluffy Boots? It might be. I hope he's not stuck up in a tree again. Oh, no. Do you remember when we had to rescue him? Oh, yes. I remember. So do I. Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. <laughs> One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. See the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. That is pitch. Grandma arrives just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. Up there, Mrs. Higgly Piggly's cat. Yeah. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Here he is. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, boss. I'll take him. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. Tim, I've got an idea. What? Let's get dressed into our school uniforms and surprise Mummy and Dad. Topsy, I don't want to. Please, can you go back to your own room? OK. Tim? Please, may I take the number five balloon into my room? Oh, OK, but look after it. We want to keep it forever, don't we? Yes. Our birthday party was really good. Yes, it was the best. All our friends came, remember? <laughs> There's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table. And lots of food. <laughs> Are you ready? For a big surprise. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> 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 it's a dino butterfly cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. Oh, <laughs> then we played more games. And it was time for our friends to go home. Tim, look, I'm getting ready for school. Tim, are you out of bed? I thought I heard something. What are you two up to? Topsy couldn't sleep. I'm too excited about going to big school tomorrow. Oh, Topsy, it's far too early for you to get up and put your new school uniform on. I think that you should have another snooze in your own bed with your pyjamas on, OK? OK, Mummy. Good girl. First day of school will be like Topsy. It will be absolutely brilliant! Night, night, Tim. My night, Topsy. And it was good. Starting at our new school was amazing. When we got to the school gates, we saw lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery were there. And Anderson! Oh, and Steve Dunton! Oh, I love your school uniform. I love your suit. We already 
have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Gary! <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! 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 <laughs> Have a lovely day. Be good for Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen, Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. And we want to hear all about it. Now, go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will. This is our street, it's where we live, so let's all play together, be best friends forever. Okay, can you take those please, Topsy? Okay, Dad. I can't wait to see Mummy. <laughs> Mummy has been visiting Granny Molly, who has been poorly this week. Mummy's going to love these flowers. <laughs> yeah, of course she is. But now Granny Molly's better, Mummy's coming home. We're going to pick her up from the railway station later. When does Mummy's train arrive, Dad? At uh, lunchtime, so we need to hurry up and plant these. Through you go, into the kitchen. Thank you. We're planting hanging baskets, either side of our front door. As a surprise for Mummy when she gets home. The one for me, Dad. Yeah, of course there is. Oh, good. That's yours. Thank you. Dad and I put newspaper on our kitchen worktop. Fold it. Go. Just the right size, Dad. Yeah. Maybe one more, please. Thank you. Gardening in the kitchen. Well, it's not really gardening, Tim. It's making something. We're making hanging baskets. And um, what's the newspaper for? To make sure we don't get too messy. Now, are you ready to plant your very first hanging basket? Yes! Yes! OK. Can you grab the basket for me and put it on the surface? Very special soil, Tim. It's called compost. Compost. Yeah, now, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> the compost just goes straight through the basket. Yeah, correct. So, we need to put that green lining inside the basket. Thank you. Straight in there. Okay, now. You try putting some more compost in. Okay. The compost is going inside the basket and it's staying in here now. Yeah, well done, Tim. So you carry on filling the basket up with compost and I'll grab Topsy. Okay. Topsy, can you come and make your hanging basket, please? Doing. Really well, look. Oh, very good. Tim shows me how to put the liner and compost in my basket, and then I plant my strawberries. Wow. Look, Dad, I've got four strawberries on my strawberry plant. Great. And your plant will grow even more strawberries soon. Sunshine and water is all they need. Please, can we pick one and eat one now? No, I know. Let's save them till Mummy gets home later. Yay! Mm -hmm. OK. Topsy, <laughs> Mummy will love eating my strawberries. Topsy, super wash your hands, please. Right, now your hanging baskets are finished. All we need to do is hang them up. Oh, careful, Dad. Ooh. You're dropping compost all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. I know what to do. We need to make... Road! Great idea, Tim! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a rocking road. Yeah. 
Carefully carries our baskets outside to hang them up by the front door. Our hanging baskets are up, and Mummy's going to love them. Okay. Do we really need to water the plants now? We've only just made them. Oh yes, we need to water them every day. Maybe even no, twice a day. Oh, sorry, Dan. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, plants get thirsty, especially in summer. Okay, thank you. Danny Pop. There oh. we go. <laughs> Can we go and collect Mummy now, Dad? No, not quite yet, Tim. We're stuck. Oh, my goodness, look at the time. Come on, stop sitting, Tim. We need to go now. Help me tidy up inside and find my car keys. <laughs> Dad drives us to the train station just in time. Yeah, I'm going to see Mummy first. Oh, hold on to my hands, please, Topsy and Tim. Don't run to the platform without me. Thank you. But the platform is empty. Mummy's train hasn't arrived yet. Oh, now, you see this yellow line here, Topsy and Tim? Mm -hmm. Yes. You must never cross that line. Why, Dad? Well, because the yellow line's there to stop people getting too close to the railway tracks. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Very good. Oh! Oh, hanging basket. Can we go and watch the man? Yeah, I think he's about to water them. Should we say hello? Yes. Yes. Hello. We find out that the man's name is Bob. He works at the station. We tell him we just made our own hanging baskets for Mummy. Hi, Bob. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Would you like to help me water these hanging baskets? Yes, please. We tell Bob we know all about hanging baskets. They need lots of compost and compost is special soil. And we tell him that you need to water them twice a day when it's warm, because they get thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is fun. <laughs> Good boy. My go, my go, my go! We all get a little bit wet. <laughs> <laughs> In the basket, Topsy. <laughs> Lovely. Yes, you'll go. Thank you. Back to Bob. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <gasps> Topsy and Tim, I think there's someone here to see you too. Bob. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh, I missed you guys. Oh my goodness, you're both so wet. What on <laughs> earth have you been up to? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome oh. home. OK, let's take these back to the car, shall we? As soon as she gets out of the car, Mummy notices our hanging baskets. Oh, wow, look at these. Do you like them, Mummy? Do you like them? They're amazing. The flowers are red and it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim, thank you. Strawberries. Yes. There are only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. And that's when Mummy said, Oh, it's good to be home. I've missed you. Oh, it's good to be home. I've missed you, Topsy and Tim. We've missed you. And we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Welcome home, Mummy. <laughs> now, let's get inside and watch these strawberries because I can't wait to eat. Oh, yeah! oh. And that, said Dad, was What's that. that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we made hanging baskets for Mummy. Can you remember what Topsy planted in her hanging basket? Was it flowers or was it strawberries? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. 
Look, the answer is strawberries. Watch this. Oh, wow, look at these. Do you like them, Mummy? Do you like them? They're amazing. The flowers are red. And it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> are those strawberries? <laughs> yeah. There are only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Grandma. Oh, thanks for coming. Hello, Grandma. Oh, I'll take that for you. Oh, thank Can you. Can I help? Oh, please oh. do, Topsy. Good girl. Thanks, lovely. Through here. Come with me. Yeah. Let's just pop. We're inviting all our friends to our birthday party, and we're going to decorate our house. Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party decorations, oh, Grandma? Not yet, Topsy. First, I need my Hello Grandma Hubble. Oh, not now, Grandma. Oh. Tim's writing his name on their birthday party invitations. Well done, Tim. Then I shall have my Hubble from you first, Topsy, and then with you, Tim. OK. Come on, Topsy. Squeeze! <laughs> Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party stuff now? Go on, then. Come on, Topsy. Party bunting, Topsy. We'll decorate the room with it for your fifth birthday party. I think Mossy likes it. Oh, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, Mossy, out of there, please. Yes, I think so. <laughs> do you know, I think she might be a bit thirsty. Oh, I'll get you a drink of water, Mossy. Come on. Mossy, a water bowl. Topsy. Look, we're using the orange pen to do the mmm in Tim. Uh, there, done. Look, Topsy, I've written my whole name all in different colours and in my best handwriting. Look, Topsy. Oh, that looks nice, Tim. It's especially for Tony. Hey, Mossy! <coughs> Can you just please write your name just here? In a minute. Oh, Mossy. <laughs> in a minute. No, please, Topsy, can you do it now? I just need to fill the bowl. No, Topsy! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Topsy, look. Look what you've done. It's oh, all really wet. Sorry. And the writing's gone all runny. I'm really sorry, Tim. You can do Tony another card. No, I can't, because that was the last one. Oh, Tim! I told you I was sorry! Please come back down! I feel sad that I made a mess of Tim's special invitation for Tony. But it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. Hmm. Oh, I wish Tim would come downstairs now. Oh. Leave him for a little bit and then we can pop upstairs and see him later once you've got all his invitations, OK? Look, do you like it, Grandma? Oh! It's Josie Miller's invitation. Yes, that's lovely writing, Topsy. And well done. That's all the invitations finished. But we need one more invitation. We can't give Tony this one. It's all wet and smudged. Oh, yes. Topsy, I've got an idea for Tony's invitation, but I need your help. Oh, what are we going to do? Come and have a look at this. Oh. Mummy's idea is to make an extra special invitation for Tony on the computer. It's a surprise for Tim. Tim? Tim? I've come to say I'm sorry again. I've made a special invitation for Tony. What is it? I made it on the computer with Mummy, look. It's a special invitation. Made from a photograph. 
<laughs> well, Topsy, using a photograph was a really good idea. I know. Open it. Oh, yes, Mummy's written the party things inside. <laughs> Do you think Tony will like it? I think he will absolutely love it. Thanks, Topsy. That's OK. I'm really sorry I messed up your special invitation, Tim. Oh, it's OK, because this invitation is much better. <laughs> but I know how we can make it even better, Topsy. Come with me on the computer. OK. Mummy? Do you think we have any more photos of Tony? On your computer, please. Yes, I've got lots. Let me see. Hang on. Do you think you have a photo of me, Tony and Topsy? Um, let me see. Oh, like this one? I guess that's brilliant. <laughs> that's the photo we should use at the back of Tony's invitation. Oh, look. Topsy and Tim with Tony. That's nice. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now, click on the number five you want to use. Uh... Drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Yay! Well done. Number five. Do one, Tim. Yep. <laughs> number five's a big number. Yeah, now watch one. <laughs> Look, this one. one. We decorate Tony's photo together. And when we print it, it looks really good. Oh, I say. Oh, Take it. Well clever. Yes, who? That's beautiful. Oh. Show it to Topsy. That's, That's really good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, now, all we need to do is stick it on the back of Tony's invitation. Yes. Okay. I'll get Why some glue. Go get some glue. That's right, Topsy. Oh, I think it's no, it's here. Oh, ha! Stick it on. Oh, you're right, Tim. Oh, we go. I'm going to write his name in green. And then we can both sign our names. Yes, from both of us. <laughs> in our best handwriting. Yes! That's a good idea. We take ages writing Tony's card. What a blue! <laughs> then I show Tim Grandma's party box. It's a red party hat. Oh, -hoo. he's got the wow! Oh, look at this green hat. <laughs> Thank you for helping with the party things. <laughs> That's okay, Grandma. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, hats. Can I try one? Yep, here. Oh, actually, I'll the candles. There we go. <laughs> what do you think? You're <laughs> funny, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and that's when Grandma said... Mossy's, Mossy's ready, ready for, for her walk. walk. Mossy's ready for her walk, Topsy and Tim, so shall we walk her to the post box so you can post your party invitations? Yay! I want to post Tony's extra special invitation. And I want to post you? Juicy Miller's invitation yes. through her door. She only lives across the road. Yes, yeah. may I, Mummy? Yes, of course she can, Topsy. We can pop it through her letterbox yes. on the way. Come go. on, everybody, let's go. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we made some special party invitations. Can you remember the number we used on our special invitations? Was it number four or was it number five? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is number five. Watch this. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now, click on the number five.
Dad, you want to use? Uh, drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! When Grandma's dog Mossy comes round to our house, we play ball. Good girl. Now, catch! Yay! Well done, Mossy! Tim, smoothies! I'll be back in a minute. Wash hands, please, Tim. Oh, OK. <laughs> a little bit of ice for Madame. <laughs> <laughs> I love your smoothies, Dad. OK. Ready, steady, smoothie! <laughs> the blender is really, really noisy! Mossy! And it makes Mossy bark! Mossy never likes the noisy blender! Oh, Mossy! Oh, Mossy, it's okay! It's okay, Mossy! Mossy, it's okay. It's only the blender, Mossy. I think Mossy's barking at something outside. Oh, Tim, look! Up in the tree! Oh, yes! It looks like Tiger Fluffy Boots, which is Higgly Piggly's cat. Ah! Oh, do you think she's stuck? Yes, um... Dad! Dad! What is it? Look, it's Miss Higgly Piggly's cat. We think he's stuck in that tree. That's why Mossy was barking! Oh, yes. We need to go and see if we can help Tiger get down. But will one of you stay with Mossy, please? Oh, I will! I will! Oh, poor old Tiger. Oh. He's really high up. Yeah, he's a good climber. Hello, Tiger. Ah. Oh. Dad? Topsy? Is he all right? Yes. I don't think Tiger Fluffy Boots is stuck, Tim. He's happy. Cats love climbing trees. Yeah. There's no need to worry. Tiger will come down when he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Tiger Fluffy Boots. He doesn't like Mossy's barking. Hmm. Let's go indoors and help Tim with Mossy. Tiger Fluffy Boots will come down on his own when the barking stopped. OK, Dad. OK. We take Mossy into the kitchen and she has a drink from her bowl. Okay. Mossy stops barking and we have our smoothies. Smoothies. Mm. Well, 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 well. Mm, these are really nice, Dad, thanks. Mm. <gasps> oh, Mossy! <laughs> yes, I know, Mossy. Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat is <laughs> still up in the tree. Dad! What's going on? Look! <laughs> Tiger Fluffy Boots is even higher up there now. I don't think he can get down. I think he's really quite stuck now. Can you get him down, please, Dad? Oh, yeah. You can climb the tree and rescue him, Dad. Yes. OK. I'll borrow Mr Fenn's ladder. Oh, yay! Brilliant, Dad! Please, will you both stay inside and play with mushy, noisy pants so she stops frightening Tiger the cat with her barking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, she likes playing with cuddly toys, so... Here, Mossy. You can play with Fluffness today. All right. Here we go. Hey, this should do. OK. We'll soon have the cat down. Don't worry, Tiger. Dad and Mr Ben will get you down. We give Mossy our old teddy Fluffness to keep. And she forgets all about Tiger the cat. Brilliant. Come on, Puss. Come on. Come on, come on. Tiger. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Nearly, Dad. Nearly. You can do it, Dad. Hello, Josie. Hi, Marie. 
Hi. What's going on, Mr Odell? Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat stuck up this tree. There, look. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, he's gone too high up the tree. Sorry, Topsy and Tim, I can't reach Tiger. When Dad called Animal Rescue, they said it wasn't safe for them to climb up so high when a cat gets stuck. They said it was a job for the fire brigade. Wow! wow. Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. Oh, I can see the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Okay. Right, careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. Ladder's pitched. Grandma arrives just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. OK. Is that Tiger up there, Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat? Yeah. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Him. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. We need to get you back to your owner. She's a friend of mine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mrs Higgly Piggly's house. Grandma phones Mrs Higgly Piggly and tells her the Tiger Fluffy Boots had to be rescued from a tree. And then we take him home. <gasps> Hello, Hello, Mrs Higgly Piggly. Oh. Here he Thank you, thank you so oh. much for bringing Tiger oh. Fluffy Boots back home. <laughs> Why did you go so far up the tree, Tiger? That was my Mossy the dog's fault, wasn't it, Topsy and Tim? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mossy barked at you, didn't oh, she? Oh, dear. Oh, Tiger. But we stopped Mossy barking, and then the fire brigade came to rescue Tiger. Mm -hmm. Oh, did. It was so exciting. Oh, you should have seen what happened. It was, wasn't it? Yes. And that's when Grandma said, I think it's time to go home for tea now. I think it's time to go home for tea now, Topsy <laughs> and Tim. You ready to say goodbye? Bye bye, Mrs. Higgly Piggly. <laughs> See you soon, Tiger like Fluffy Boots. Oh, yes. Bye bye, Jean. Goodbye, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> bye. Bye. Come on. Mossy will be waiting for us at home. And that's it, Grandma. Was that? Doggy biscuits and tea. Which doggy biscuits would you like to? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tiger Fluffy Boots was stuck up a tree. Can you remember what Dad borrowed from Mr. Fen to try and rescue Tiger Fluffy Boots? Was it a ladder? Or was it some rope? The answer is fine, Big was the rabbit. Look, the answer is a ladder. Watch this. Brilliant. All right. There you go. Come on, Puss. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tiger. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nearly, Dad. Nearly. You can do it, Dad. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Who's here? Did you finish your lunch? I'll go and answer the door. OK. We 
We love it when our friend Mr Rosen comes round. He always has good ideas and things to do. Oh, it's a... Uh, well, it's a wheelchair, Hi, isn't it? I need it to help me get around. Hello, Tim. Do you like sight, Mr Rosen? Yes, a bit. Mr Rosen had a fall. I did, and I had to go to hospital. But don't you worry, I'll be up and about walking very soon. <laughs> and there's lots of fun we can have when I'm in a wheelchair. Um, do you have a ball? Oh, yes, I'll get it. Topsy, give me a push. Yes! <laughs> Over here. Yeah, that's oh, good. This is fun. Yeah, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, like yes. a roller coaster Excellent. on there. Very good. I've just been right. along, Mr. Rosen. Would you oh, like a cup of tea? Thank you. Lovely, Joy. Thank you. Oh, very good, Topsy. Oh. Tim, perfect. That's just right for my special Oops. exercises. Special exercises? The special exercises, the doctors told me I had to do exercises to stay strong and get fit again. <laughs> now we can go back into the living room. <laughs> Bring the ball, Tim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. To the right, Topsy. To the right. Straight ahead. This is a tight Straight ahead. Space. Are you all right? Left. Left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back. Left. Wonderful. Here we go. That's it. Whoa, that's it. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Oh, now give me the ball, Tim. Here you go, Mr. Rosen. Thank you. If I do this with the ball, right? Up and down again. Up and down again. It keeps my arms strong. Here's your tea, Mr. Rosen. I'll just oh, pop it up thank here. Thank you, Joy. Okay. Now, Topsy, your turn to try my special exercises. Up, up, down. Up, up down. Up, down. Right, Look team's at me, next. Right Catch. <laughs> Do you have any more special exercises, Mr. Rosen? Ah, well, uh, there's the touchy finger exercise. The touchy finger exercise? Yes, What's it's that? to make my fingers strong so that they can do things like, uh, like hold a cup of tea. You see, you touch your fingers to your thumb one at a time. One, one. two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great work. You'll have strong fingers too. <laughs> oh, there's one more important exercise. This one's for my legs. Uh, I'll need a bucket and, uh, oh, some of those building blocks. I'll get building blocks. I'll get the bucket. Oh. There's one box, okay, Mr. Rosen. That'll be fine, Doctor. Thank you. Here. Here he is. Well done, Tim. Now, can you hang it on my foot, please? Yes, are these okay? Perfect. Okay. Yes, those are okay. Drop a couple in the bucket, please, Topsy. Okay. Oops. That's it. And put the bucket back. Great, perfect. Okay. Now then, that's enough, that's fine. Are you ready? Yeah. Up, down. Up, down. It's good for my legs, you see. <laughs> good work. Do you think that Teddy and Little Moon Bunny will be able to have a ride in the bucket as well? Why not? All aboard! We'll get them! <laughs> I know, but just, just let him rest. He must be a little bit tired. He's still not very well, you know. And maybe, if he has a little sleep, he'll be able to play with you a little bit more later. Out we go. There you we go. were having fun. Yes. I know, but just let him rest and you can play with him a bit more later. I want to make Mr Rosen a get-well card. No, Topsy, we can make him a get-well bucket. Oh, yeah. Well, bye. 
bucket. Yes, we can stick things on it and decorate it. Oh yeah, great idea, Tim. I'll get my maker to do my make and do box out. A special bucket. It takes a long time for us to get Mr. Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. Yeah. Tim. Hello. Oh. oh, hello, Mr. Rosen. I'm so sorry. Did I go to sleep? <laughs> it's all right, Mr. Rosen. What have you got there? Well. Oh, what's that? It is an exercise bucket. It's a special one that we've decorated. It's for you, Mr. Rosen. Oh. It's a get well bucket. Thank you. It's beautiful. Useful. I'm going to use it every day to do my exercises and think of you too, Topsy and Tim. I hope your legs get better soon, Mr. Rosen. Well, Tim, it does take a bit longer to get well again now that I'm older. <laughs> and that's what Mr. Rosen said. But I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school. Well, I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school, Topsy and Tim. And do you know why? No. Well, I can stand at my window and see the children walk to school over the footbridge. And I'll be able to watch and wave to you both from my window every day uh, when my legs are better. <laughs> and we'll wave to you every day from the footbridge on the way to school. We, we promise. promise. We really, really promise. And I promise too. <laughs> That'll be something really nice Oops. for me to look forward to. Oops. Now, now, let's use my new get well bucket and start some more exercises, yeah. right? Let's go and back. that, said Mr. Rosen, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, our friend Mr. Rosen came round in his wheelchair. Can you remember what we made for him? Was it a get well bucket or a get well card? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a get well bucket. Watch this. A get well bucket? Yes, we can stick things on it and decorate it. Oh yeah, great idea, Tim. I'll get my make do my make and do box out. A special bucket. It takes a long time for us to get Mr. Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. Yeah. Oh, Rosen. Yeah. Look on me. <laughs> I put the butterfly on the handle. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!